All right, I am Forge Tech, and this week we are doing the Greenhouse Kit and Porch Bundle. And it comes with five pieces of porch, a glass porch railing, the original Greenhouse Kit, which if you got that either from the season or have got it in the when it came on sale, it will give you a discount to this bundle. We have a couple other odds and ends, as you can see here, quite a few good things that will actually work together. I often give them a little bit of grief that some of the bundles feel like they just rolled a dice and kind of just threw stuff together, but this actually makes sense. Now, unfortunately, this is more a porch than a greenhouse. So as you can see, it does not have the farming plot foundation. It has the concrete style one. Now, it's got two corner sets. And you can see the visibility through the glass is actually pretty good. It's still got that little bit of a dusted and beat up, but you can see right through to the roof of my studio here. And when I turn my light on, the actual metal has a nice finish of rust, but not so bad that you would, you know, it goes over the top. But you can see here that it's got a nice detail work. It's got all the little different materials. You've got the inside and outside corner pieces, your standard kind of roofing. Now, I'm assuming I haven't tried it, but they look like they should be able to fit any other of the porch sets. So you theoretically mix, can mix and match these. Now, these two are the actual odd ones out. They've got a wall and a door version. Now... There's no corner piece one, which I really wish they would have added a corner piece. Now, if you look here, this actually does snap. I was actually shocked at that. I was going to be telling people, okay, this is not a door like the other ones, but no, this actually is a door. It actually will snap different pieces, as you can see. So... I am very happy that they realize things that look like doors should be doors. And that took me a little bit by surprise when I was testing it, since they have a lot of door-shaped things that are not doors. Now, this is still a foundation, and this will make sense in a second. Now, as we all know, or at least I know, foundations are indestructible. As you can see, our friend here from the Nuka world is not being damaged. In fact, I can walk in, and this can't hurt me either. As such, these walls effectively are indestructible. Now, that's great if you have, like, a side that is facing, like, that one random, you know, ghoul or super mutant that has a gun that could fire three and a half miles for some reason. So, they'll hit this, it can't be damaged, it can't take, you know, any sort of issues with it, so you're kind of safe behind this. Which is why I said, I kind of wish they had added that corner piece, so that we could have created a little bit more of a, you know, glass shield around us. But I guess they didn't want to give us too many pieces, because then it would be too easy to make an indestructible base. Now, you can see here that I've gotten the little foundations where I've got the fence snapped to it. This will snap to it. I've tried snapping it to a standard foundation. It would not snap. I have not tried everything, so if you find that this will snap to something that's not a porch, leave it in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. As you can see, though, this does have an actual like hit point pool which is part of the reason I wanted to destroy it as well you can see it kind of just disappears it does sound a little wooden but that makes sense these are actually oddly enough made out of wood uh, I don't ask questions anymore folks um, now as for the odds and ends before I walk in and showcase the actual original greenhouse You've got this little barn mailbox. As you can see, you can activate it. Which, I love this. Just, 
I did not pay attention that you could activate this until just now, so that was me seeing it the first time, too. It is nice. It is. I love when they do stuff like this, and it makes showcasing this stuff a lot of interesting. But, as you can see, it does actually have a bird both inside and flies up, so this I, I'm going to love putting these around my camp so that people can actually come in and find that, because that you, it's just so hard to showcase something like that in a photo, you know. Then we have the Nuka-Cola thermometer here, you can see. Now, I'm just saying I hope you never reach to the point that it is up in this area in heat. That would probably be a very bad day for you. But, you know, it does fit right up against the wall. It does look nice. It does actually have that nice aged look, you know, vintage vintage apocalypse now i've put the wind chime down a little bit so that you could see it better now it does look good i only have one complaint it has a weird wobble if you look here that last step kind of looks mechanical. it's like the entire thing swings well right up into that last little one and it's just kind of like sticks a little bit now I do want to put a little disclaimer on this. When I was looking at it, I noticed that it says red Nuka-Cola wind chime. Whenever they start adding things like that in, I've often seen either another one that had a similar design in another pack or a generic version that they add later on. Now, I don't know that they're going to do it. It's just something I've seen when we got the, you know, Halloween decorations, we got one color and then we got another color in game. So be on the lookout of it at the same time. If you like it, buy this. Don't worry about it. Now we have the little trellis here, as you can see. It does look good. It does have that little where you can walk through and set up. You know, I, there's a lot of garden pieces that I think this would look great as an entrance. You can see actually the wood itself. Whereas it's got that nice, as I was saying earlier, <laughs> vintage apocalypse going on. We've got the little uh, Vault Boy sundial, and boy, does he look like he has seen better days. I mean, look at all that detail work of him just barely being here. But you know what? He stood the test of time. I am not going to make any more puns, I promise. Uh, as you can see, his actual thumb is actually on the sundial which that guy has the world's longest thumb in that case as it goes right up through it but you can see it's got a lot of detail you can see that it's actually got rust you know the greenish copper coloring on it i mean everything is good looking you can see little pieces of rebar sticking out from it and just the aging and everything it looks good then we've got the Corvega porch swing. And you can see here, he actually does do a little bit of swinging. The actual animation does look good. There's no sticking or anything like that. All in all, it does look like it has good detail work with the design, the nice amount of rust, everything like that. And I wish you could have two people on it, but I can also understand why they probably wouldn't have done that. Now, finally, we are coming over to here. And we're going to talk about the original greenhouse. Now, these do not, these four panels do not come with this set. But these are just standard in-game things that you can actually grab from one of the gold shops. So, don't be alarmed. You can pick those up for free. Now, it's got... It's more of a limited set than the Rustic. It's got your standard greenhouse walls. It got one door. It does not have corner pieces, unfortunately. So, you're going to have to do this same style of archway. Now, if you want to do it long or sideways it doesn't really matter but 
It does, of course, have the half wall and the end pieces here. You can see I've got the half wall over here, which one really nice thing about this half wall, and I've been using it for years, if you put a standard half wall and then you put this on top, you make a really nice looking window. Because if I take something like this army base wall, the army base doesn't really have that great of windows. But if you just simply, you've got this nice, huge, beautiful window you can see out of now. So always be remembering that these can be used actually as windows themselves. Because when you're standing inside, you're able to look outside and you're like, you know what? There's a lot of really nice things in this game to actually be looking around. And with that, I hope this kind of narrows down this. I hope you all have a great week and have a great time out there.